Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I obviously we're we're pleased. I I'll be honest, I had no idea uh, what how we were going to play, um, what we were going to do. You you hope you're going to play well, and uh, I thought we had some good stretches, um, some other stretches. I, I started the second half a little disappointed, just the energy and uh, just a little too casual. But I thought the energy first half was big time. Whether the first group was in or the young guys came in, the new guys. Uh, uh, you know, you hold them to 19, you know, maybe the only thing would be a few fouls in the first half, you know, that keep them off the free throw line. And I thought we, you know, I, the thing I'm probably the most pleased, 27 assists, 11 turnovers, 27 out of 36 baskets. I thought when we moved the basketball, we were pretty good. Um, uh, you know, Xavier, we've talked about being efficient. And you can't, other than the ones three in front of me that I wanted to block, so he shouldn't have taken it. Um, you know, if you take away that, he's, you know, seven for 11, three for six, one for one free throw, seven rebounds, three assists, one turnover, two steals, and and did a, a great job. Very, we've talked about efficiency for him. Uh, you know, the two freshman forwards, uh, God, what a great start for them. They play so hard. If, if Monte makes any of those layups uh, in the first half, he has six offensive rebounds and goes one for seven. Uh, you know, he gets a double-double, 10 and 11. Uh, you know, that's, it's great. Uh, they, you know, played hard. Antonio, you know, made shots, was active, 16 and 7 for him. Uh, you know, Dejuan, who had been probably, you know, a, as consistent as anybody in practice, probably a little tight, little nervous, trying to do too much. His uncle surprised him, came in, and, uh, you know, just it was good to get him to get a three down and, he cares so much, maybe a little too much. We got to get Mac going. Um, you know, it just, I think, again, that pressure as a senior wanting to, you know, do everything and then it doesn't go don't go like you hope. And, you, you know, we've talked about Levi and Mac just, they got to stay out of foul trouble. We can't have both of them get two fouls in the first half. Um, you know, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us down the road. But uh, overall, pretty good. And, Got to, you know, the minutes was exactly what we had hoped. Um, you know, I think that was positive. David uh, Sloan, uh, seven assists, two turnovers, his plus minus is 28. Uh, Mike McGurl, actually, six assists, one turnover, led us on to play hard. You know, he just makes a couple of those open threes, uh, has a pretty good, efficient day, but he's he's plus 27 when he was in there. So uh, some some good things, and... Uh, something to watch tape on and, and grow. And I think the big challenge will be on Wednesday, coming back and playing better, making improvement. Uh, you know, that, that to have the maturity and the discipline to come back and uh, play at a higher, at a, a better letter and high, higher level. So we're ready for North Dakota State in whatever it is, 10 days from now. You come right out of the gate, kind of landed that punch. You know, it's 20 to five, you build a big lead. Never had that moment where they came back and made it eight, six, whatever. How, I know it's just, it's one game, it's Emporia State, but how do you feel about your team being able to have such an efficient game and, and clean all the way around? Well, we challenged them. I thought Xavier did a great job of leadership. Our, our whole emphasis was learning to prepare because we have guys that haven't been, a lot of them that haven't been through this and been through the college game. And, and, and then, you know, for Mac and Cardi, it's different now. They're, they're you know, they want to be the guys, but they got to learn how to be the guys. And that doesn't mean, uh, you know, doing everything. They just got to be good and solid and efficient. So I, I, was, I was happy. I, the only was that little spurt in the second half, started the second half. Cardi turned it over. We let them beat us a couple times. So we got a little, little stagnant and flat, but. You know, the, the, actually, you put the young guys in, and they got energy and playing hard. So that part of it was positive. So we maintained. And, you know, they're, I know Kansas struggled the other night. Uh, you know, Illinois State had to come back from 12 in their game. You know, so this is, uh, you know, it, I guess when you look at it, it's a, it's a positive. But obviously a long way to go. What most impressed you with Antonio tonight? Just his, his activity. Uh, he's a very confident young man and very loose. And, he, and he's, he, you know, his, he's, if he's going to continue to make strides, he's got to be a little more disciplined. And, um, you know, in some of the stuff. But, you know, he's confident. He can score. He can do a lot of things. And, um, you know, it was, he was, pos it was very positive. You know, him, I thought he, 
you know, spreads the court. He gives you a look of that pick and pop. Monte is, plays a little more physical and did some great things. And both of them were very, very active, I, I, you know, on the boards. Uh, did a good job. So you're happy with them. We didn't see Sean tonight. Just what's what's his day? Yeah, he's now? Uh, right now he's in, you know, he's suspended. And, you know, we'll just see how things go until, you know, when I feel like he deserves to get back in there. Uh, but he's got to have a great attitude, and uh, you know we'll we'll kind of progress. We'll progress as it as it goes along, and you know it's a challenge to him to stay focused and uh, do what he needs to do to get better. Because you know we still can use him. He's talented, and um, it's 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 a shame, but you got to do what you're supposed to do off the court, and um, you know hopefully he'll grow and learn from that. Uh, James Love. Uh, and Nigel both have injuries. Uh, I guess that's a, you know, sadly, it's a continually repeated scenario with those two. And, um, you know, I think Nigel will be back probably quicker than James, but uh, hope for the best for them. They, it doesn't help us, obviously, uh, not to have that depth of those guys, especially as we get into the league. After the, the scrimmage last Saturday, you had said that, you know, it wasn't a great day for Antonio then, but that he had been practicing really well. Was tonight kind of what you'd been seeing in practice and people well, yeah, got to see Well, it's funny because early uh, Monte was horrible. And then since that scrimmage, Antonio hadn't played well. And then he comes back tonight and plays well. And then Monte's had a good week. Um, yeah, he, you know, he's active. He can score. Uh, you know, we – we watched him in high school. We thought he was pretty good. Now he's a little, little loose and wild in high school, and he and he put it up a few too many times. But he's got some ability, got some talent. He's got to get stronger. He's got to be a little more disciplined and and figure out the defensive part of uh, our system. But that that'll come with time. Uh, after the collision with Snead and Stalker, did you ever consider like shutting them down for the game, or was it like there's no? They were fine. They just. I mean, they were. They, I thought they were okay. And Levi wanted to play. He had two fouls, and actually, his game is. You know, he's fine if he makes those free throws, three for four. You know, four rebounds, uh, two assists. You know, so he he did some good things in his limited amount of time. But he's got to stay out of foul trouble. And we tease him about it. You know, the fouling his player in the country as a freshman, and you know. And, he, he, you know, it, it, now it's serious. We need him, and we need him to stay out of foul trouble. You said during media day you'd like to see this team get fast break points, turn defense and offense. You got 20 fast break points tonight. Pretty happy about that stuff. Yeah, it, it, you know, we, we've talked about dominating twos, um, you know, getting that, you know, those transition ones off your defense, pushing the basketball. You know, we missed – Mac missed the dunk. Days one missed the dunk. You know, we could have even had more. Uh, but we we did you know get those easy baskets. We got to steal baskets, and and that's going to be a key. Uh, now we had shot really well in practice, uh, not quite as good tonight. A little better in the second half. Uh, I thought we 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 sold out and shot some quick threes, and we got to cut some of those out. You know, especially as we get against a little better competition. I I thought Emporia didn't quit. Got to give credit to them. And I like that we had to go against little guards because we didn't – that was – if you defensively, when you're great, we didn't do a great job of containing those guys. They were able to get to the hoop on us a little bit. And then dealing with their post play when they threw it to the post, especially our freshmen, they got a lot to learn on that. What did you think of David in his game today? I thought David, you know, I, as I said, seven assists, uh, two, two, two turnovers, three steals, plus 28. Uh, you know, makes a couple threes, even even five rebounds. So, you know, pretty good efficiency. Um, it get, allows Cardi to get off the ball. Um, we get a little stagnant. David David knows how to play. I mean, he can pass that basketball. He's just got to get, like those other new guys, he's got to get better defensively. And I guess, yeah, I mean, until they get better defensively, how much do you think you'll see them on the floor during? Well, I, I you know, if you – Go and look at his numbers and practice. He's really good. And I told him, I want you on the court. But if you can't, you just let people go by you, it's, it's going to be hard. And you got to get better. And he knows it. it but it, that's not something, if you haven't played defense, it's not like, oh, I'm going to just play. you got to learn, focus, concentrate, prepare. And I, I hope that comes over time. 
when you weren't scoring in, in true transition, how did you feel your secondary break was and your early possession yeah, offense? Yeah, you know, I thought if when we moved the ball and got it side to side, I didn't run one set today. I just told them, you got to, the next, these two games, this is not about learning how to play basketball, move the basketball, play the game, play the game the right way. Um, and they, you know, I, I, there were times when it was really good. When we moved it and got it side to side, I thought we did okay. Uh, when we sold out and shot the quick shots or, you know, tried to make a big play right away. I think Dage one did it a couple times. Mike, you know, I thought Xavier shot that one three in front of me. Um, you know, other than that, it was it was pretty good. Cardi, I think, you know, got casual a couple times. But, uh, you know, making progress, it, it's uh, – it'll, it'll take some time. With Sean, is this an open-ended, indefinite thing, or could he? Do you have like a target date that hey, if you do well, we just, you can be back by the he opener? He just got to take care of business over the course of time, and then we'll make a decision. He's not going to play right away. I can tell you that he's not going to play Wednesday. So we'll see how things go after that. Anything else for coach? Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks.